YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here again, and I'm here today with once again two Yes So Yas bags. Yeah, they seem to have changed to a black packaging. So before I get into those, I will go over the two packages that I filmed last time because I get behind on filming these for some reason. They come kind of late in the month, and then on top of it, sometimes I just let them sit. <laughs> Because I'm lazy, I guess. Anyways, um, for December's, I still have three of the products. Uh, I didn't, there was a crown angle blush brush that I did not keep. And I used up the masquerade lip mask that they sent me. So I only have three products left. I actually really like this. This is the Koki Cosmetics Kissable Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dolled Up. Let me swatch on my other hand because one of them is covered in swatches from my BoxyCharm. And there it is right there. Like, it's not something I would normally choose, but it was actually really pretty, especially with the palette that they sent. The Beauty Creations Cali Chic Palette. Now, I did think that both of these were like super warm things to send in what was December. But quality-wise, they were both spot on. Beauty Creations actually makes some really nice palettes, apparently. I have a couple of them from this service now, so yeah. Happy with, both, happy with the quality of both of those. And the other product that I still have is the Bella Pierre Pro Concealer Palette. This is okay. I'm not a heavy-duty color corrector type person, <sighs> honestly. And these smell like a crayon. <laughs> I don't think this has gone off though, because when people got this in their boxy charm, it apparently smelled like a crayon there too. Uh, the shade that I actually used the most was the orange shade, which is hella pigmented. And because it's kind of on the darker shade, on the darker side, I had to go in really lightly. But it did work to correct my under eye circles, so I could totally use that. And I can use green to color correct some redness that I have. I still don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do with purple though. Like, I don't know. And for January, uh, I didn't keep the Beauty Creations liquid lipstick because I already had it. I had gotten it from BoxyCharm, I believe. And Appeal Cosmetics sent out a eyeshadow pigment, but it was in the, a charcoal shade that I would just never wear. I'm actually getting one that I bought with my BoxyCharm points in a golden shade soon, so eventually I can tell you how the formula is. Now, the next thing I currently cannot find, my house is kind of in chaos right now, so I don't know where this went, but I did keep it and I freaking love it, so I really need to find that thing. It is the NCLA Luxury Gold Glitter Lacquer. I will insert the gorgeous photo right here. This is the most stunning nail, t nail polish topper I have ever owned. Like, bar none, like, and it, it is a perfect formula too. Like, you can get plenty of g gold glitter flakes, but they spread out really evenly too. Like, I freaking love that thing. I would buy that at $21 again. That is so good. So, love that. Next, we have what is actually supposed to be a highlighter, but I can't wear it as a highlighter because of the color. It is the Enmo, Universe, Enmo Cosmetics Universe's Star Highlighter. As you can see, I can't wear that as a highlighter. I did wear it as an eyeshadow, and it is really pretty, so I will just continue to use it as an eyeshadow. And finally, what I thought was also, the star, I had two like major stars in this. The January bag went so much better for me than the December bag. I guess just because I, you know, I can't even say that the December bag was really good too. I can't be mad at it, but this was a palette I was super excited to get and it was awesome. This is a crown palette. And does it have the OMG crown palette? Look at those shades. These two shades were what I was wanting it for, and they're stunning. This formula is really nice. They're really pigmented. I love this palette. And it's like $10. I cannot be mad at that. It is amazing. If you, if you like these colors, go get you this palette. 
No. Going into February and March. Let's do February first, because this this had something that wound up pissing me off really, really badly. Uh, well, there were seven items. Now, three of the items are these freaking brushes. They're like little eye brushes, so like if you got these in BoxyCharm, these would be one item, but they count them as three separate items, which it's fine. Whatever. I don't really care. I'm just kind of annoyed that they are advertising it as seven full-size items and these were three of the items. And they are, the only price that I could get for these was a set that they come in. So they're like, the, I priced them just to get a value at $3.75 each just because they were in like a 12 brush set. So I'm sure these brushes are fine. They feel nice and soft. I can certainly use them. Oh, these are Inmo brushes as well. I forgot to mention that. Like, we have a crease brush, a concealer brush, and a angled brush. Here's the crease brush right here, because I waved it over here like y'all could see that. So that was one thing that annoyed me. And the other thing was, they said two eyeliners, which is fine. One of them was a Koki Cosmetics Velvet Smooth Eyeliner in this really pretty green shade. I'm going to have to insert a picture of it. That's because when I received it, there was no top. It had completely dried out and shrunk into the pencil. I contacted them and they're, they're like, yeah, if you have a problem, you have to contact the, what's it called? The service that they use to ship it because we know we do everything right. And I'm like, uh, no, you didn't. So that, that really makes me want to unsubscribe, honestly. Like that aggravated me to no end just because I know it's like a $6 eyeliner but it's advertised as part of the box and y'all can't you know refund my bag send me a new one send me something else not cool y'all the other eyeliner they sent is from let's see what is it jcat beauty which I, we used to get more in like you know ipsy and whatnot but haven't gotten anything from them in a while. What is this called technically? Ah, shoot. I'll get this off later. The Holy Addicted Pro Define Eyeliner in what looks to be some brown shade, but I can't find the name of it. It don't matter. It's a wooden... Oh, that's hard too. So I guess we'll see how that works. And finally for February we have the Beauty Creations Emerald Palette. I think this is supposed to be maybe a dupe of some Huda Beauty Palette. It definitely kind of looks like a Huda Beauty Palette. It's definitely more fall oriented than the winter that it came in or the spring that it is now. But I mean, the shades are pretty. I may have to finesse them a little bit. We'll see how well the mattes work. Because that green mat that I swatched there. Didn't want to spread very well. Why didn't I get a freaking wipe? So I was not happy about that bag. Oh finally we have a Bang Beauty lip crayon but the shade is something that I would never wear so I put it up on the swap site. Maybe somebody will want it. But it's a shade it's like a shade that I'll never wear so I don't care about it. I'm really mad about that bag. I did not cancel. They have a skip a month option. So I just hit skip. And then when I saw the spoiler for their palette this month, I was like, ooh, I think I might want to resubscribe for that palette. And then I thought about it and was like, let me go look up how much that palette is. Yeah, that palette is like $9. I'm just going to buy that palette and cancel. Like, fully cancel. Anyways, for March... I did appreciate that for March they gave us a cheek palette instead of another eyeshadow palette. This is an Ibby Beauty Cheek to Cheek Blush Palette. And I will admit this packaging is actually really cute. Like it's a faux leather packaging and it opens up like side to side and there's a mirror on each side. So we have a shade called Jive and a shade called Cha Cha and it looks like one is more matte. Oh, they are hella soft too. And one, are they both matte? 
Yeah, they're both matte. They're hella pigmented. I'm gonna have to be super careful with those, but they look pretty. Oh goodness. See, I haven't I barely even looked at this bag. I just was so turned off by, you know, that. They also, for once, did not actually send a their card does not have any info on it. Here we have a Mirabelle. Uh, what's this? I think it's a crayon? Yeah, this is a Mirabelle Semi-Sweet Eye Crayon in the shade... Who the hell knows? That shade. Looks like a deep brown shade. Yep. I mean, I can use that as eyeliner, so if nothing else, I'll use it up that way. And it, honestly, it looks like a better eyeliner than that J-Cat thing they sent me in February. Speaking of eyeliner, we I also have a Douce waterproof long wear eyeliner. I'm not going to open this because, um, you know, it's a black eyeliner. I don't usually keep them from boxes because I have so many. And finally, we have from Mora, I believe. It's M-O-I-R-A Lush Cream Matte. I'm thinking this is a liquid lipstick and it is in the shade Butter Cake. So this month only had four items instead of, like it can technically be anything from like three to seven. So four is fine. I wasn't worried. I'm not worried about that. I will say overall March's has been better than February just because February pissed me off so bad. Like, like I said, I, I looked to see that I had the four items that I knew were supposed to come, but I, I thought we were getting like a mascara. So maybe I got slightly different items or something. I don't know. I don't really care because I'm canceling because that whole thing with we don't replace products because we know we sent it right even though they obviously didn't really turned me off okay it has that liquid lipstick spell that i'm not too i'm not going to wear that that's too brown for me i will see if like my sister wants this or something because yeah i'm not gonna wear that so I got a really nice cheek palette, I will say, or cheek duo, I should say, and a Mirabelle eyeliner that I'm gonna use as an eyeliner. So that is the end of my yes, oh yas experiment. Overall, if you take out the fact that they're, the way they handle customer complaints is really, really shitty, I have mostly liked what I have gotten from them, but Man, if you don't handle your customers correctly, we done. <laughs> we are done. So, I will no longer be getting this bag. Anyways, that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. I wish this had ended on a better note. But uh, hopefully, I will see you later. Bye!